Hey Bears, I'm Erwin Uku. And I'm Zach Fisher, reporting for Cal TV Entertainment News. We're here in downtown Berkeley to give you guys an inside scoop on one of Berkeley's hottest new attractions, BAM PFA. That's right, Arowa. I'm really excited to bring not only the Cal students, but you along with me. Are you excited? I'm excited. What are we doing outside? You're totally right. Let's go check it out. The new 80,000 square foot structure is located one block from the downtown Berkeley BART station, making it accessible to the greater Bay Area. The space is not only aesthetically pleasing, but hosts many community outreach programs and incentives for local students. The museum's director of education and academic relations, Sherry Goodman, outlines the details of some of these student-driven initiatives. You have such an integral role here at the museum. Can you elaborate a little bit on how you mm -hmm. interact with the students and the community mm -hmm. and how the art plays into that? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ero, I'm so happy for the opportunity to tell you yes. <laughs> something about what we do with students. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, just to say that the self-evident that uh, everything we do, in a sense, is for students. Yeah. Beyond that, our public programs are, of course, open to students. Okay. Uh, Admission is free for students. Definitely, that sounds mm -hmm. amazing. Can you tell us a little bit more about the events you have planned for this semester? One of the galleries in Architecture of Life, mm -hmm. uh, which will in the future be our gallery of Himalayan art, is currently uh, displaying work from a wide range of cultures. Uh, work, all of which has some relation to spiritual traditions. And you'll see that it has a, a special wooden floor, which helps create a more quiet, contemplative environment. This sounds like a great place for meditation. Would you yes, agree? Yes, actually, you are so right. Okay. That that space is at the, sort of the end of, a, of another space, so it's mm -hmm. quiet. So when you say contemplation, it brings that okay. gallery to mind. Well, yeah. it sounds magical, and it's something I definitely want to check out. Oh, good. I hope um, you do. Lastly, I just wanted to ask you about what are you most excited about for the new space and just for yeah. what's to come? Well, nothing is more gratifying to me personally than uh, helping students from different disciplines who may not have been to the museum before or who may not have ever looked at art before or thought about it. Uh, to, to sort of help them with that encounter and to give them a handle on looking at visual art. Wow. So, so art is life, essentially. Yes, very well put. Yes. And as is architecture of life. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to check that out. Media relations contact Peter Cavagnaro gave us an informative tour on the space and innovative architecture. Up next, the museum's curator and director, Larry Rinder, explains their inaugural exhibit and expansive film collection that is free for UCAL students. So this show, Architecture of Life, is meant to celebrate the occasion of new architecture by displaying works that aren't necessarily architecture themselves, but which explore architecture as a metaphor. Okay. So you can think about the architecture of the mind or the architecture of society, the architecture of uh, the spirit. So the works in this show explore architecture, and there's works of art, architecture, and design from the past 2,000 years from cultures all over the world. So it's an amazing show, and yeah. everybody should come. I understand as well that you show around 450 films a year. That's right. And so, your, ar mm -hmm. your archive is around 17,000? Right. You, you have a good <laughs> memory. Uh, yes. So we're probably unique in the world for being uh, sort of half art and half film. So there are other great museums in the world that have great film collections and programs, like MoMA in New York is kind of our closest peer in terms of the quality and the number of film programs. For us, the film and the art are about equal. So half our collection is film, half our curatorial staff is focused on film, and historically half our audience has been people coming to see our films. So like you say, 450 films a year, which is a lot. So we have films every night that were open, Wednesday through Sunday, oh, wow. sometimes more than one film a night, okay. and then matinees on uh, some Saturdays and almost every Sunday. Wow, that was so much fun today. It was amazing. To say it was fun was an understatement. They have so much to do in there, it's overwhelming. Especially for you viewers. Make sure you come and check out BAM PFA. Again, this is Zach Fisher. And I'm Erla Uku. And check us out next time for more Cal TV Entertainment. Whoever you are, you should be able to watch this film and engage in the conversation. And, uh, and, and having said that, I actually can't imagine an actor better for the role.